everybody. This is Sharon. Today on Precious in His Sight Audio Ventures, Bernie the Bunny starts a brand new business. Bernie's always into something, and today he's into everyone's clutter and mess with his new business called Clean Your Clutter. Gonzo does decide to hire Bernie to clean Gonzo's goodies, but, well, you'll just have to listen to find out what kind of a job Bernie does. Right now, Bernie's at home trying to get all of his equipment ready for the big cleaning job. Let's listen. Why doesn't this thing work? How am I going to get my Bernie's clean your clutter business off and running with my vacuum cleaner not working? I can't clean anyone's clutter without a vacuum cleaner. Oh, maybe I should change the bag in this thing. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done that yet. It's only, well, it's just been about two years, but maybe I should do that now. Okay, unzip it here, I think. Yep, I would unzip it here and then, uh-oh. The bag is so full, it has a little tail in it. I better be careful here. Okay, just remove it from the, <gasps> oh, I still have a mess now. Oh, what a mess. I will, uh, I'll put a new bag in way, though. Who could that be? I am so busy trying to get all this stuff together here. Just a minute. Just a minute. I'm coming. Stephen Faith Twig, how are you doing? We're doing great. Yeah, just fine. Uh, I don't mean to be critical, Bernie the Bunny, but it, it smells a little dusty in here. And that's what we're here for. If you came to get some dust, you came to the right spot. No, I don't want any dust. I just thought you might want to check with Gonzo the Gorilla about having you clean his Gonzo's goodie shop. How did you find out about my new business already? I read the ad you put in the paper today. In fact, I have it right here. Yeah, right. Okay. Right here, it says, if the dirt is piling up and your mansion is a mess, just call Clean Your Clutter Now. Bernie's business is the best. That's right. W lift my lips and call me happy. <laughs> I'm glad everyone is finding out about my new business. Do you want your mansion all cleaned up? A mansion? Since when did that happen and I wasn't informed? Someday, Faith, but it will be in heaven. No, Bernie, we weren't thinking of having you clean our house. We have a wonderful housekeeper already who helps us out once in a while. Her name is Susie. I think I think you've met her. I sure did. She helped me to get some of my cleaning things together. She is great. You know, we were at Gonzo's Goodies, and he mentioned you uh, helping him out a bit. And since you were just starting there, do you think you'd be ready to begin cleaning an entire business? Gonzo's Goodies is a big place. Are you sure you're ready for that? No problem. I am ready to tackle any job. Oh, just a moment, please. It might be an important phone call. Hello, Bernie's Business here. I'll clean your clutter. Yeah, but hello there, Bernie. Are Steve and the Faith there? Oh, it's just Gonzo. Yes, they are. Did you need to talk to them? No, I just wondered if they asked you about cleaning Gonzo's goodies yet. They sure did. I'm all ready to start. When do you want me to come over? Later today would be very good. I'll be closing at 6 o'clock, and you could be in here by yourself, of course, there, so nobody would disturb you. I'll be there. Thanks. Bye. See you later, then. My first... Customer. Bernie the Bunny, why does it, it smell so dusty in here? Oh, I'm putting a new bag in my vacuum cleaner. There was a tail in the bag. Oh, yeah, I see over there by the sofa. It seems to be all over the floor. Oh, I'm sure too bad that happened. I can tell my nose is getting a little stuffed up. Allergies, you know. I hope things go well for you, Bernie, at Gonzo's Goodies, and we'll be on our way. See you later. Thanks. Bye. See you later. Thanks for coming. Bye, Bernie. My first cleaning job. Okay. This phone keeps getting me from getting my work done. Hello. I mean, Bernie's new business. I will clean your clutter. Well, there is plenty of clutter to clean here. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, yes, over here at THT Team, I have papers on my desk and CDs and cassettes and envelopes I haven't opened yet. And Top hat, that dog, get to the point here. I am a very busy bunny. 
Well, well, remember you came out to THTD Radio several days ago to let everyone know about your new business. I just thought you'd like to know that it will be on the air very, very soon. You might want to tune in and listen. Yes, just tune right in if you're not listening already. Oh, I do, I do. Thanks for telling me. I will tune in right now. All right, then, yes. Now, remember, we just used your idea. Put it together exactly the way that you want it. All right, then. And be sure to listen now to the song after your little commercial information there, because I think it is one of your favorites, yes. It's Everyone Lift Up Your Voice. I'm sure it will be great. Thanks. Okay. I will just tune in my radio to THTD Radio right there. Okay. Oh, right. Okay, I should be able to top it now. And now, a special message from Bernie the Bunny, who has opened his new business called Clean Your Clutter. Hello, everyone, listening in the radio land place thing there. This is Bernie the Bunny on THTD Radio with some news about yous. That's why right, all of yous can have your your place sparkling clean. Just call Clean Your Clutter. And always remember this song. When a mess is what you've got And a lot of time you've not A lot of clutter is not funny Just call me, I'm Bernie the Bunny That's right I will clean your clutter and your heart will flutter when you see it. You'll think I'm the best when I clean up your mess. Yes, well. <laughs> oh my, I tell you, there you have it, yes. Bernie's new business, yes, well. And now, a song from the precious in his sight, Kids choir and myself yes everyone lift up your voice everyone lift up your voice praise him praise him everyone lift up your voice praise his name mm -hmm. everyone lift up your voice praise him praise him Everyone, lift up your voice, praise his name. Sing a new song, to the Lord make a joyful noise. Sing a new song, with our music we rejoice. Oh yes we do. Everyone lift up your voice, praise him, praise him. Everyone lift up your voice, praise his name. Everyone lift up your voice, praise him, praise him. Everyone lift up your voice, praise his name. Sing a new song to the Lord, make a joyful noise. Yes, sing a new song with our music. We rejoice. Oh, yes, we do. Yes. <laughs> Everyone lift up your voice, praise him, praise him. Everyone lift up your voice, praise his name. That was a great commercial, and I like the song too. They really do a good job at THTD Radio. Okay, well, I think I have everything to get here. I have to get over to Gonzo's. I only want to have to make one trip to my car. So I'll take the vacuum here and this broom and this bucket over here. I can carry it that way. And then all of these cleaning brushes, I could pick those up like that. And then one more thing, I would need to grab my keys. Oh, I can barely get them off the counter here. Okay, I've got them. But, oh, oh watch out for that! Oh! oh! That pile of dirt from the vacuum cleaner. 
Oh, I didn't clean that up yet. I dropped everything. I guess I'll have to make more than one trip to the car. I'll probably be a little late to Gonzo's now. Oh, well. Hello, Mandy. You are just in the time. Hi, Gonzo. I know you're just about to close, but I thought I'd stop by and get a dozen cookies for clubs tonight. I feel like I should have a club to bop myself on the head with right now. Well, why would you want to do that? I decided to let the Bernie the Bunny come in here with his new cleaning business, and I am not sure what kind of a job he is going to do. Well, sometimes, you know, he likes to rush through things a little bit, but maybe this time he's really going to show us all how hard he can work. I hope so. A lot of things could be damaged in here if he is not careful. Well, anyway, what kind of cookies would you like, Amanda? I'll take the plain sugar cookies over there. Then do you have time to just write Luke 11 on each? Not the entire verse, of course. You never have time to fit it all on there. Just have each one say Luke 11. That's the book and chapter Steve has been having the club group read. The kids have worked really hard on their lessons. I can do that really quick. Now you said that you are talking about that tonight then, the Luke 11 thing? Yeah, it talks about the cup being clean on the outside, but not on the inside. Maybe I'll make a few extra and leave them on the counter for Bernie just as a reminder to clean the inside and not just the outside of everything. That sounds like a good idea. You know, as often as Bernie gets himself into trouble, we still need to love him and know that God loves him too. Yep. And, you, you know, I've just one more cookie here. I am a pretty cook at this, you know. Of course, God loves everyone in the world. Top Hat has a song like that on THTD. I think it goes, people live in China, some in Carolina. God loves everyone in the world. Something like that. I'm not a really good singer, but I'd like to hear that again. Top Hat the Dog has his request time on the right now. Would, Manda, would you mind calling them and requesting that song for me? I'd be happy to, Gonzo. What's the number? I should know it, but... I, I, th- I think that it's maybe 555-THTD, so that would be 8483. Well, that's easy enough to remember. THTD Radio, this is Top Hat the Dog with request line time. Hi, Top Hat, this is Mandy. Mandy, well, it's always good to hear from you, yes. How may I help you, Mandy? Well, I'm at Gonzo's Goodies, and we were wondering if you could play that song. What was it called, Gonzo? People Live in China. Oh, right. People Live in China. Yes, I can put that CD in right now. Thank you for the call, Mandy. Goodbye. Yep, bye. I'll turn in the station here. And now we have a request from Mandy and Gonzo the Gorilla. Yes, here is the song, People Live in China. People live in China, some in Carolina. God loves everyone in the world. Oh, yes, he does. Oh, white or black or deep blue, any color will do. God loves everyone in the world. God loves everyone in the world. Yes, he does. A man or woman, boy or girl. People live in China, some in Carolina. God loves everyone in the world. Oh, yes. White or black or deep blue, any color will do. God loves everyone in the world. God loves everyone in the world. Yes, he does, yes. A man or woman, boy or girl. People live in China, some in Carolina. God loves everyone in the world. Oh, yes, he does. White or black or deep blue, any color will do. God loves everyone in the world. Yes, every single one. Excuse me, everyone, for stopping the program. We'll get right back to Precious and His Sight Audio Ventures in just a moment. But I do believe that Top Hat the Dog has just a moment here to give you some very important information. Let's see if he is in the studio here at THTD Radio. Top Hat the Dog? Hello? 
Thank you for giving us a moment of your time here today. Of course, yes, yeah, Sharon. Well, come on in. I heard you had something special to share with our listeners today. Yes, I would love to hear from them. You know, they often hear me on THTD Radio and, and Precious in His Sight Audio Ventures and so on. And Well, I would like to hear from them. Just to write me a note saying, hello there, yes. <laughs> oh, I tell you, I'd be glad to write back to you too. Yes, I would. They might even have have some questions that they would like to ask, or or they might have some stories they'd like to share, or whatever it is you'd like to say. I'd love to read each and every letter from all of my friends, yes. You heard it. To be part of Top Hat's team, just write a letter. You might even want to send a picture of yourself and mail it to the post office approved address. Riddles the Clown, Hartford, South Dakota. That's it. It's so easy. The address again is Riddles the Clown, Hartford, South Dakota. Write soon so we can get a letter from Top Hat right back to you. Always remember to enclose a self-addressed stamped envelope. And now, back to our program. I really did like that song, Gonzo. That was a great choice. Thanks for the cookies and the extra touch there with Luke 11. Why, that's okay there, Amanda. I like to do the little extra things like that for you. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Bernie. You're holding a lot of stuff there. Do you want me to help you with anything? Nope, nope, thank you very much, Mandy. But I have to take all of these things myself, you know, because this is my new business here. Clean your clutter. I'll just need to get by here. Excuse me. I have to get around here. Thank you. Bye, Mandy. Bye. I hope your new business goes well there. Okay, Gonzo the Gorilla, are you ready for clean, clean, clean? Because that's what I'm here for, you know. You won't recognize the place when I'm done with it. I don't want you to redecorate it, Bernie. I just want you to clean it. Do you have everything you need here? Of course. I always bring everything I need. If I didn't bring everything I need, I wouldn't have everything I needed. Well, I guess that makes sense, sort of. Well, I'm on my way then, and I'll lock the door behind me, since I am closed now, and you'll have the, the whole entire place here to yourself. Do you have any samples for me? No, I don't have any samples. But I do have a few cookies on the counter for you. They are Luke 11 cookies. If they are Luke's cookies, then why are you giving them to me? Luke and his mom and dad, Bill and the Rose, were already in today. This is a scripture verse cookie, and it's Luke 11. Oh, I see. I will have to look that verse up later to see what it means. But now it's clean your clutter time. See you later. If you have any questions or anything, you just give me a call then. And be especially careful with this cake over here. It looks like a big wedding cake, but it is really for a birthday. It's so colorful. And it looks really tasty. You can't take any frosting off of the sides of it. Now remember that. That is for a customer, Bernie. All right, bye, and thank you very much. Bye, and don't worry about a ting. Okay, now to start sweeping. I can't believe I forgot my dustpan. Oh, well. Oh, well, yeah. Just under this little rug thing here will be okay, because it will still look very, very clean. Okay. He will need to get this little rug washed anyway, and that's not my job. Okay, a little more sweeping here. Okay, that's done. Now, I'll be done in no time. I'm going so quickly. I'm so good at this. Okay, now there were some dishes to wash. Let's see over here. Lots of cups and glasses I see. Okay, I can just clean. Yeah. I can just clean the outside quickly. And the inside, it looks pretty good. Yeah, so that should be okay. And if I just put them in the cupboard, even if they're wet, they're going to dry. That just happens. Okay, so I can put them in the cupboard later. Okay, then. Oh. That cake looks so good. Nobody would know if I just had a tiny, tiny little bit of it. Just maybe this little frosted flower thing. Mmm. Mmm. That's really crunchy. That's pretty good. Uh, I could have just a little bit. Oh, I could have just a little bit more there. Mmm. That's really pretty good. Quiet down, everybody. Quiet down here, and thank you for coming to clubs tonight, and I hope you all had a good time. Mandy brought some cookies, by the way. They're over on the table. Uh, they say Luke 11 on them. That was our book and chapter for tonight. Uh, 39, specifically verse 39. 
And it says, let's check, check that out here just before you go. Now then, you Pharisees, clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside you are full of greed and wickedness. So remember, everybody, we don't want to just look good on the outside. We also want to be right with God on the inside. All right, go ahead, get your treats then, get your treat over there, the cookie, and then your ride should be here. And thanks for a good night. St. Mandy, could you watch all this activity? I'm going to make a quick phone call here. Sure, no problem. I'm just going to step in the office here a minute. That cleaning the cup verse made me wonder how Bernie's doing at Gonzo's Goodies. Let's see, yeah, remember that number here. This is Gonzo's Goodies. But I'm not Gonzo. I'm B-U-R-N-N-I-E. That spells Bernie the Bunny. And I'm here with my clean your clutter business. Remember, if your mansion is a mess, just call Bernie. I'm the best. Are you done now? Nope, I have a lot of work to do yet. No, <laughs> I was wondering if your introduction was over. That was quite a long speech there. Are you having any, uh, any problems with anything over there, Gonzo's goodies, Bernie? It's all going really smooth, just like frosting. What frosting? The smooth and, and the, the smooth and crunchy frosting on the birthday cake, which is really tasty and is something that I haven't been eating a lot of. Bernie, I hope you aren't eating more than you are cleaning. Nope, it's about the same. Bernie, are you sure you don't want me to come over and give you a little help there? It's okay. Just come over tomorrow morning to Garnzo and see what a great job that I did. Oh, be careful with the windows if you're washing them. They get a little streakier than they were before if you don't polish it off right. They get streakier? I know a Tim and Kathy streakier. No, they get streakier than they were before if you don't polish it carefully. Okay, but... I don't do windows usually. All right, Bernie. We'll all be in tomorrow to take a look at your work. Thanks. See you then. I sure hope I've Bernard did a good job of cleaning. Everything seems to look okay. Hello, Ganjo the Gorilla. I just got here when you were opening, and, and I hope that I'm not too early here for you. It's a just a fine. Have a seat there, and could I get you anything? An orange juice right now would be fine. Yes, thank you. Hi, Top Hat the Dog, how you doing? Gonzo. Hi, Gonzo, how's everything uh, looking here for you? Everything sure smells nice and clean in here. Mm. It sure looks like the place to be today. Mandy, hello there. Hi, Mandy. Steve, you left your notebook at clubs last night, and I thought I heard you say something about coming here this morning. Thanks, I was looking for that. Uh, something wrong, Mandy? You have kind of a funny look on your face. Seems like there is something wrong under this carpet that I'm standing on. Let me take a look under there. Oh, I can't believe it. Cookie crumbs and, and dirt and... That's a quite a mess. I can't believe it. Top it. You look like you have kind of a funny expression on your face. Is there something wrong with you? Well, the outside of this glass was clean. But take a look at the inside. Let me take a look in there. That glass wasn't even clean. I can't believe it. Gonzo, did you want this cake to say Hap Day? Let me take a look at that. I can't believe it. The frosting has been removed all around the edges and on the letters, which were made of chocolate. I can't believe it. Hi, everyone. Bernie the Bunny is here from Clean Your Clutter. Did I get my business off to a good start? Gonzo's goodies is pretty clean, don't you think? Hello? Don't talk all at once. That's Bernie, a you mess. put dirt on the windows have a stark in that. Birthday cake is missing here, some I don't know, of Bernie, the frosting. But it is kind of messy. I said not to talk all at once. That's a mess. The windows have sturics in them. Bernie, you put the dirt under the carpet. You should know better than that. The birthday that. cake. Bernie, it's missing some of the frosting. Look at my glass here, Bernie. Look at this. I don't know, Bernie. It's all kind of messy. Thank you. Thank you very much. I work so hard. Just throw me. Just throw me in the garbage can. Well, the dirt under the carpet belongs in the garbage can. I can tell you that. Steve, Luke 11. Yeah, right, Mandy. That's a perfect verse for this occasion. Now then, you Pharisees, clean on the outside of the cup and dish, but inside 
You are full of greed and wickedness. Bernie, it shouldn't just look good on the outside. It should also be clean on the inside. That is the way we should live our lives. We, we can make ourselves look good on the outside, but our heart and attitude should be clean and pleasing to the Lord, too. I think I might have to go into a new business. This one is all washed up. <laughs> That's a first shot. Where am I, I, I tell you what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Well, come on, everybody. Let's help Bernie finish the job. Where is the broom? I did help everyone do the cleaning for the second time. It did really work even better when we cleaned the inside and threw the dirt in the garbage can instead of under the rug. I was trying. I was trying to do a good job, but I wasn't trying hard enough. I did help Gonzo make a new cake and decorate it too, and I didn't even eat any of the frosting. The outside and the inside of the glasses got cleaned this time too. Gonzo was a lot happier with the new clean your clutter job, I do have to admit that. Bernie, not only do we sometimes have clutter to clean in our rooms, and homes, and places where we work, but we also have clutter to clean in our hearts. That's right. Sometimes we clutter up our lives with things that really aren't very important at all, but they take up most of our time. It might look good on the outside to be busy and bustling around from here to there, but at the end of the day, how much of that time was spent in service to God? Let's look at our lives and not only try to look good on the outside, but let's make sure our inside, our heart, is also clean and right before God. God can see the things we hide under the rug. Pray to God and ask Him to help you clean up all the things that clutter your life. And then move forward clean and ready to serve Him every day.